Hello students, welcome to Short Resource Classes and this video is about Jacobians. In Advanced Mathematics, this is one of the most dominating topic. I will be doing uh, the introductions for 2 into 2 and 3 into 3 models and also many important questions as well. So let's start. So for example, if u and v are the two functions of two independent. Remember that these two are independent variables. Okay. And both are independent variables of x and y. Okay. So u and v are the functions of. So u is a function of x comma y. V is a function of x comma y. Where x and y are these two are independent. So in this particular structure the Jacobian formation will look like del u del x and del u del y and in 21 position it's del v del x and del v del y. So this is the normal 2 into 2 Jacobian form. Okay, This can also be written as del of u comma v of del of x comma y or simply is another one Jacobian of u comma v by x comma y. The common mistake is they put two different uh, brackets but actually it will be a common single bracket. Okay. So now what happens in a three variable structure? So in a three variable structure it is del of u v let it w and this is x y z. So in that case, there will be a 3 into 3 formation like del u del x, del u del y, del u del z. Similarly, del v del x, del v del y and del v del z in that way, del w and this thing. So now you know the basic formation of the Jacobian structure. Okay. Now, let me just proceed with some more advanced uh, problem. Let me just start with a question. A simple question I will solve. Okay. So they have given a question over here that find the Jacobian of let's find J of U V X Y. Okay, they asked you to find this where it is given that u equal to e to the power x sin y. So here you don't have that v. Okay, so how to do that one? Oh no, sorry, uh, v is also given, my mistake. v is e to the power, sorry, it's only x log of sin y. So simply all you have to do is find del u del x which will be directly here e to the power x sine y you find del u del y as well e to the power x cos y okay now if you are having any problems or issues with the partial derivative structure so you can see my partial derivative video as well i have also uploaded it just go to my channel you will find it okay now uh, we are going for the next part that is del v now del v del x it's easy it's log of sin y and del v del i would recommend you to pause it and uh, do it and then uh, cross check it okay x tan y that's it so in the jacobian format as we know the format here will be del u del x del u del y del u del del v del x and del v del y now in this particular structure we can proceed with another question So if we just solve it uh, after putting this particular structure here, 
So here I put e to the power x sin y e to the power x cos y. Remember these two are different positions and log of sin y and x cot y. Okay, x cot y. So you just need to calculate uh, here. Okay, in this previous structure, it will be, I think it was cos by sine, it was coming. So, it is x cot y. Okay. Now, uh, proceeding to this one. So, it's a simple determinant. So, here e to the power x into x cos y minus e to the power x cos y log of sine y. That's you can leave it here, you can take it common, it doesn't matter. So, this is the formation of a Jacobian. Okay, now I am proceeding to a more advanced Jacobian, which is uh, nth order. Okay, well, let me just give you a 3 into 3 case Jacobian. And the reason I write 3 into 3 because it's a 3 variable structure and the determined also in a 3 cross 3 format. So, here it is given that y1 equal to x2, x3, y, x1, y2 equal to x3, x1, y, x2 and y3 equal to x1, x2, y, x3. So, this is given and you have to find, uh, this time you have to show that the Jacobian of y1, y2, y3 with respect to x1, x2, x3 is 4. So, simply with respect to Jacobian's format y1, y2, y3 and del of x1, x2, x3 is 4. So, this time you, we are getting a perfect value. So, how to do it? So, simply uh, we need to find out 3 partial derivatives. Okay, you know, just this entire Jacobian is all about partial derivative. All you need to know is partial derivative. So, do you need del, u, del y1 del x1? So, that is minus x2 x3 by x1 square. Now, you need del y1 del x2 which is x3 by x1. Now, you need del y1 by del x3 which is nothing but x2 by x1. In that way, you just proceed and find all the values and put it in the determinant. Finally, I just uh, put the value in the determinant structure. Okay, remember to just pause it and cross check whether your answers are correct or not. Okay, x3 by x1 it will come. It will be x2 by x1. This is x3 by x2. Okay, this is x1 x3 by x2 square. And this is x1 by x2. In the last part, it is x2 by x3 x1 by x3 and this will be minus x1 x2 by x3 square. So, if we just put it over here, remember that in the entire numerator and denominator we can take something common. So, this is the magic of this term determinant. This is not a direct determinant over here. So, x1 square, x2 square and x3 square we can take common. So, we are ending up with a determinant like x2 x3 x1 x3 and x1 x2. In the second line it will be x2 x3 minus x1 x3 and this one is x1 x2 and the last part you can just cross check it x2 x3 x1 x3 and minus x1 x2 okay so in the numerator also as we can take overall common so x1 square x2 square x3 square can be taken common and the denominator also have fortunately the same one okay so now this is the beauty of this question so here it is 1 minus 1 1 1 you see the principal diagonal will become minus 1 and rest of the thing will remain 1 if we just calculate this thing goes off and this determinant value will be 0 plus 2 plus 2 hence 4 so we have proved this in the next video of the Jacobian part 2 I'll be doing some of the nth variable structure and also incorporating some of the trigonometric portions okay I would uh, recommend you to revisit the video and check it again whether you will be able to solve the problems or not. Okay, let's see in the next video. Thank you.